All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? And welcome back to the Notorious Curtis Price channel. In today's video, we are indeed going to be discussing an extremely popular influencer. A person whose lies only seem to get worse and worse. A YouTuber who can no longer monetize any videos on their channel due to stinky allegations. And that person, my friends, is the legendary James Charles. Now, if you don't know who this man is, then, you know, you, you've probably been floating around in orbit for the last hundred years. Because this man has been in deep waters at least once a year for the last three to four years. And by deep waters, I mean, you know, boiling acid hot. Ah, ah, mm, ah, yeah. But if you aren't aware, James Charles was actually called out two years ago by the notorious Tati Westbrook for allegedly being a filthy predator who was apparently pursuing straight boys. So I will say this now. Yes, James Charles, I am straight. However, not underage, so... No reason to pursue me, is that? <laughs> However, shortly after Tati's video was released, James Charles came back and exposed Tati with receipts. And apparently, people came to the conclusion on the internet that the only reason Tati exposed James was because her company, Halo Beauty, was indeed in competition with James Charles' new brand. <sighs> No, wasn't that cheeky, you little sod. But ladies and gentlemen, I do have to apologize before this video carries on because I know it may look like my face is melting. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I have red dots all around my eye. Uh, I didn't take an acne shot, if that's what you were thinking. So if I do look somewhat ill and not, uh, it could have been because of the meth I took as well, but I highly doubt that. I'm Desperate. But anyway, James Charles was not totally innocent, ladies and gentlemen, and here's why. At Tati Westbrook's birthday, there was a waiter named Sam Cook. Ironic. Waiter. Cook. <laughs> and apparently Sam Cook told James Charles that he was bisexual and later slid into Jimbo's DMs. Which led to them meeting up in a hotel and making out for an entire hour. But then Sam Cook didn't feel comfortable and later told James that he was apparently bi-curious. But now realising he is straight. Now I just wonder how the sweet angel glam guru James Charles responded. When you are drunk, the truth always comes out. Not always. But I just wanted to make sure we split on good terms. Yes, always. You're not straight, no matter how many times you tell yourself. Manipulative? And demanding. <laughs> but later Sam came out and apologised to James for the reason that he already knew he was straight and just wanted to make out with James Charles for his celebrity status. Hold up. People make out with you if, if, if you have celebrity status? Alright everyone, subscribe to the channel now, get me to 100k by the end of June, because that's what we're aiming for, and you know what, 72% of you aren't subscribed, how disgusting is that, eh? I want to hit 80k by the end of May, alright? However, here we are once again, two years later, and James Charles uploaded a video holding himself accountable for talking to two underage boys on Snapchat, which he responded by claiming he was desperate. Now, with a platform as big as James Charles, I would definitely want to make sure that the people I am speaking to are definitely of age. But with James, it seems like he's only interested in a certain type, and I mean down to the bottom line type, and which happens to fall under curly-haired, baby-faced white boys. Thank God. Now, I'm sure we can all agree, but this is a life-changing tip for James Charles. Just date boys in real life. Make sure they are of legal age. That's hypocritical for me to say. Because James Charles referred to TikTok as a dating app. You know, the app used by, like, hundreds and thousands of minors. That one. <laughs> But since the video of him holding himself accountable, an extra alleged 16 victims have come out against James. We won't be covering them all in this video, however, most definitely the most horrific ones. So for this, we're going to be breaking it down into chapters. Now, each chapter, we will be discussing different stories. Chapter 1, A Victim Life of Uzzy. Chapter 2, Alex and Mami. Chapter 3, Dating Apps. Chapter 4, Catfishing. And Chapter 5, More Horrific stories to so subscribe for the best commentary videos on YouTube and without further ado let the games begin So, life of Uzzy, an alleged victim of James Charles, who was actually only 16 at the time, decided to share his disgusting experience with James Charles, which took place on Instagram and Snapchat. And this was the screenshot he shared. And again, someone using Snapchat as a dating app. As I've said previously, only paedophiles use Snapchat. Not always, but in most cases, pedo chat. <laughs> Fuck. So I wonder, what could James Charles have possibly said to Life of Uzzy? Well, let's find out. So we started talking a little bit, and he was actually a very nice person the first few days. He told me he wasn't looking for anything until he started calling me daddy and babe. <laughs> yeah, alright, babe. 
Do you want to ask if you got a big one? Yeah. My cock's massive. <laughs> that is, uh, that is definitely not the... I've got big girth in it, though. Nah, I don't. Well, I've got big hands, you know, so it... It looks smaller when I older. However, at this point, James Charles seemed to pressure Jay into sending graphic images. Apparently not being concerned about his well-being, but more interested in how big his pipe was. At the end of the day, James Charles, they're still your fans. And even if they aren't your fans, they are still people slash underage children who see you as a big influencer. And allegedly, James, I'm sure at the end of the day, you will use that to your advantage. To get willy pics from underage boys. What? Perhaps you think, James Charles, that your celebrity status puts you above the law. Well, let's see what Jay thinks about that. Things start to get really weird because he started asking me for pics of this thing over here. And I was like, what the fuck do I do? Like, do I send it? Do I... I don't know what to do. I know a lot of you guys were saying, oh, like, you should put a block saying blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, like, when you're talking to somebody that you look up to, it's not as easy to do so. I did mention to him that I suffer from anxiety, uh, depression, and that I, I said I came out of a very toxic relationship. Um, he didn't seem to give a shit about that, and I feel like his biggest concern was how big my was. What? What? Do you understand that you are pressuring someone? Yeah, it's wrong to do that on every planet in the world. But you don't get that, do you? No, you don't. Because you're a fucking nonce. Allegedly. I definitely don't have enough money for a lawsuit. In fact, I don't have any money at all. I spend it all on penis enhancement pills. I know. I know, I just, I just thought that for a second or two, my world would get a whole lot bigger. It didn't. However, shortly after this, Jay claimed the situation was making him anxious, but of course, that didn't seem to bother the great James Charles. And when Jay didn't send images, that angered James, and he became pissed off. Yeah, just like taking a lollipop from a child. Or in this case, a penis. But surely the allegations can't continue. He's in enough deep shit as it is. Well... Let's find out. So, this alleged victim, Alex, age 16, came forward just at the end of March, claiming that he had screenshots of James communicating inappropriately with him. <gasps> oh my god, no way. Yeah, I'm just as surprised as when it hits 12 o'clock every day. But later, Alex actually deleted his video exposing James, and it was unclear why. However, I just wonder what were these lovely, wonderful messages that James sent? Perhaps complimenting his cock? Cockerel, uh, that is. But he doesn't have one of those, so what then? Do you have a nice body? Haha, <laughs> got it. You give off big dick energy. Lol, al. Come pick me up for some road head. Yes! James Charles finally getting a boyfriend. He's 16. Uh, but it wasn't just these messages, he was also pressuring Alex into sending a shirtless picture. Also, a uh, road head? Makes a change from giving head 30 feet in the sky. My goodness, he's done it all. Now you just ask yourself, how many more times is he possibly going to make these underage mistakes? Or allegedly, are they mistakes? So ladies and gentlemen, dating apps. Um, yeah, they aren't dating apps. This is a dating app. But according to James Charles in his video of him taking accountability, he claimed he was desperate and that apparently he uses his For You page as a dating service. And as I mentioned earlier, TikTok is mostly used by underage people. So wouldn't that just like raise red flags straight away? But let's see, ladies and gentlemen, what James said in his accountability video. At all, and I had the mentality that I could reach out to literally anybody and use my explore page and for you page as a dating app. And eventually I would just happen to find the right person, but that's just not how dating works literally at all. Uh, it's gross, it's weird, and it's desperation. What the fuck is this guy on? I mean, to save your trouble, I could have told you that. You could have just asked me. For advice now on TikTok, not asking for a penis pic. But ladies and gentlemen, it's as if real life mingling doesn't exist anymore. By the year 2050, all romantic films on Netflix will be based on the internet and the internet alone. I made one major observation after downloading TikTok a few weeks ago, and that is that this app is pretty much a dating app. <clears throat> Let's be real. Um, yeah, totally is a dating app. 1000%. It is a dating app, but why else would it exist? But desperation, in my opinion, isn't really an excuse for missing the red flags on someone being underage. But if you didn't know, the For You page is basically the front of TikTok, which shows you videos based on what you've liked slash previously viewed. So, uh, why use TikTok as a dating app? Why the underage boys? 
What fucking videos have you been watching? <laughs> now you're probably asking, you know, what else could he have done in his life to make this whole situation worse? I don't know, uh, how about while he was in high school he catfished the entire local soccer team pretending he was a girl so he could receive a bunch of nudes from them? <laughs> Imagine! What? So, the catfishing chapter. So while James Charles was in high school, allegedly he would catfish the local soccer team pretending to be a girl in order to receive nudes from them. And these allegations were also brought back up in 2019, but for some reason they never gained the traction they deserved. But here we are, in 2021, where someone from James Charles's hometown came forward and released this TikTok. Is it just me or does like everybody from the 518 just know that James Charles catfished his whole high school soccer team for all their nudes and like nobody ever says anything like i've never seen it really go like publicly or anything but i've talked to so many people in the 518 about like james charles and they're like oh my god you know the catfish situation like we all know it but all the people from his hometown just don't say anything. Like, what? Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed just allegations. The only somewhat proof we have to go off is indeed these pictures of him dressed up as a female when he was younger. Until now, of course where other people from his hometown also agreed with the story and claimed that it was real. Pause to read. I'll leave it on the screen for a little bit while so you can see. Then here's another one you can pause to read. Please don't screenshot it with my little face in the corner because that'll be weird looking. <laughs> another video, there's screenshots from a conversation with his ex-best friend. Um, I talked about that YouTube video on my TikTok page under like give a story time. I cite this video. And then here's another screenshot from that video. And then here's the picture of James dressing as a girl. So this is all alleged. I'm just putting out um, some information because everybody was asking and nobody was watching the videos. <laughs> so as you can see ladies and gentlemen, quite a few people have indeed agreed with the story of him catfishing the local soccer team. It really doesn't look good at this point, does it? You know, kind of like a bad smell. It doesn't go away, it just lingers. And it does leave you asking the question, was Tati Westbrook right about James Charles all along? Is there any more proof we have about James Charles catfishing? <laughs> yeah. We have proof, all right. Now recently a clip has indeed resurfaced of Tana Mojo slash Mongu showing James Charles choosing a blonde wig to catfish a straight guy on Snapchat. Again, Snapchat, 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 Snapchat. Why? Well, let's also look at this clip and uh, we can see what we think. Brothers are filming and James goes, should I put on a wig to Snapchat that guy? <laughs> and now uh, it's literally choosing a wig. Should I be a blonde or a brunette right now? I think blonde. Blondes have more fun. I, that's so true, Taylor. And if anything says, hey, but I'll suck your cock, it's a blonde wig. <laughs> it doesn't really work out with one straight. As you're putting on a wig to snap down a straight <laughs> I'll just take that with a grain of salt. I'm not gonna mention too much about that. You can let me know in the comment section how you feel. But if it is true, it's fucking disgusting. It, it, it's smelly and I hate it. It stinks. I'm a very weird man. There's a reason why I was booked in for a colonoscopy. Lapotomy. <laughs> Sorry. Colonoscopy is when they shove the camera where the sun doesn't shine. Anyway, let's talk about more alleged victims. So let's talk about an incident which happened with a guy called Twixie. So allegedly once again James Charles was using his For You page as a dating app and Twixie, the 17 year old, shared DMs of James Charles claiming to find Twixie on his For You page. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, dating app, woo! <laughs> it's not a dating app, alright? It's fucking not, alright? Now Twixie and James Charles sent photos back and forth to each other and this is where Twixie claimed to be 17. Now unfortunately we don't know if anything inappropriate were sent. However, this is how that situation was left. Now in another situation, Luke Allman showed screenshots of trading lots of photos on Instagram with James Charles. He apparently told James that he will be 17 and James Charles acknowledged that. But yet, apparently, he still added Luke on Snapchat. Fucking Snapchat. Again, fucking Snapchat. What did I tell you? Snapchat is filthy, all right? It's filthy, you know? At least be subtle about it, you know? Like when you rub a bogey on the wall or something. What? I don't do that. That was disgusting. I, I, yeah, that's fucking horrible. That's, ugh. Thank God I said that at the end of the video. Probably half the people just tuned out because I said that. I don't do that, by the way. 
I promise. But in mid-April, Luke posted a TikTok that allegedly James was asking him to come to LA multiple times, even after Luke was refusing. You don't ask an underage guy to come to LA to meet you, like what? But in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, he held himself accountable, but it just seems that more often than not, cases keep popping up left, right and centre, just like a football pitch. <laughs> but if James Charles doesn't stop now, we will be talking about this again in a year, year's time max. So yeah. Right, I swear to God, every time I bring her on my channel, she's in the middle of her afternoon nap, okay? And I always have to wake her up. So here she is. This is my baby, Nova. Nova, say hello. She's not happy. I wake her to poke her up and she's like, no, this fucking shit again, nah. The same shit again. Can I just fucking sleep for once? So here she is. Um, I just want you to know, okay, uh, it's not me. It's them. They want to do this to you. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> okay, let's put you back to sleep. I know, they're cruel fucks, aren't they? <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. With that said, hope you did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, and join the channel memberships today. And I'll see you all in the next video for some more amazing, fucking awesome content. Peace out. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.